So my thing is, when you're dancing, yeah, you can understand your movement, like you have a signature move, you can do the signature move. Then you say, well, I did the signature move this time here, next time, I'm gonna do it here. Oh, it looks different, even though it's the same move, but since I did it here, people go, oh, he didn't do the same thing. It's the same move, but it's in a different, different position, it's a different place. So when you're dancing on the freestyle, I want you to see you playing. We, we say in the back in the day, to play, meaning I'm having fun, I'm playing with my positions. I'm just, I'm just creating something out of nothing. Everything that comes to my mind, I just do. My, my mind says, hey, put your hands up and look away. I know my arm is there. I don't need to look to see it. I don't need to look to put it up there. I go, uh, that's the position. Now, this is here. This is a change. If I go like this, even though my arm is still here, I go like this. That is a different look. If I go like this, that's a different look. Even though it's my arms are here, every little nuance, meaning a small piece of movement or things that you do, it's a change. This is a change. That's 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 a change. I don't care how many I have my arm up here. You have to look at, when I watch dancers, I look at the totality of the body, the movement. I don't just look at someone with the arm up and I'm concentrating on the arm. What are they gonna do? Because they're doing this. Something down here that, oh, I missed the move of the leg <laughs> because I'm watching this. What are they doing? This is just my position. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do stuff out here. Then when I wanna incorporate this, I bring it in. So, okay? So, yes, please. Yes. Uh, if, uh, the whole idea of uh, Crazy Legs, uh, when you started doing Crazy Legs, by, when you got inspired by Google Crazy Legs. Right. So, uh, is that freestyle mindset was playing by, back then as well when you wanted to some, uh, create something new with your feet? Yeah. And uh, you got inspired by Crazy Legs. Yes. Was that the reason why you got into the whole uh, footwork of the whole? No, that Crazy Legs because I, was, I watched him do or the CCs or, or six steps or whatever. So when I watch Crazy Legs on the ground doing all this stuff, I try to do on the ground the same thing, but I black, be up on the ground. <laughs> cannot, cannot, I didn't understand. So I said, what if I stand up and do, so when you see me doing this, it is a equivalent of B-Boy going down. <laughs> so I'm doing, see, I'm doing, I'm doing, it's not called Crazy Legs because my legs are going crazy. It's called Crazy Legs because I named it after B-Boy Crazy Legs. Because I saw, he's, he's my inspiration for coming up with the stand-up CCs, basically. So when I'm doing, when I'm doing Crazy Legs, I am freestyling. I understand my patterns. Here, 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 cross, here, ah, uh, here. I'm doing a boogaloo roll here. Uh, even all this stuff, my movement here. Hey, I'm 58 years old. I can still do this thing. Because everything that I was taught from Sam was free thinking. Yeah, he taught me to go. He taught me the technique, how to pop. He taught me the structure, how to do a book and roll, how to do an old man, how to isolate. Then he said, now that I've taught you that, now you must put your own personality on and with the technique that I taught you. That's why so many people in America, no, everywhere, and I can say only in America, all around the country, you can recognize, you say, oh, that's, that's Aki, he danced that way. But if you take away Aki's personal movement and say only technique, he gonna do the same, he gonna do this and pop it. I don't care who it is, I don't care if it's uh, Aki, I don't care if it's Salah, I don't care if it's uh, Frank A, Nelson, Green Tech, uh, Slim, Boogie, K, K Boogies, L, Boogie Woogie, Boogie Boogie. <laughs> Man boogie, little boogie, fat boogie, short boogie, Indian boogie, American boogie, all the goddamn boogies. So, everyone's going to do the technique. You cannot call any style that you do without having the 
foundation and the fundamentals of the technique under it. That's why, it's, that's why I never say it's called my style. It's called my feeling. Because if it was your style, that means you created copy. You can't, you know, people say, because some people go, no, but people, it's like, it's the way I move, it's my style. A style of dance to me is something that like you Like a genre of music. Like yeah, genre of music. But, it's, but it's all you say my style, that means you created the, the foundation, the technique, the structure, everything. Just because you made up a move inside of the pop doesn't make it your style, it makes it your move. Like wiggle, got wiggle walk. That's one thing I can't do. I can't do a wiggle walk. Never could, I don't know why, it's very difficult. But anyway, that's the wiggle signature move. So if you see it, you go, oh. If you see somebody doing this, you go, oh, probably be Spider-Man. Because it's just a signature. But I use it inside the poppy. I go, ah, ah. <laughs> it becomes a signature movement inside a dance style that's already established. We can't, we can't recreate the technique of any style. What we can do is be innovative evolve. to and evolve. Meaning, now evolve, some people think, see, that's a different thing. When you say evolve, it's like going from a gorilla to a man. It's not about, it's not about evolving, it's not about, uh, I'm gonna change the technique. Evolving is how I move with the existing technique because you cannot change tap dance, you cannot change ballet. You can add to it. Someone say, I'm gonna do it. A jumping scissor uh, leap, freeze in the air. They come down and say, whoa, he did it. He froze in the air in, in the ballet style and then came down. It's not a, it's just a new move. It's not a new technique. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not saying, I got a new style of, of ballet. There's no new style of popping. Popping is this. There's no new style of waving. Waving is coming through your body. There's no new style of touch, technique-wise. But there are your own personal movement in and out of the style that's already there. So if you're doing something, you say, well, I'm gonna start here. Oh, did you see how he moved the touch? That's his funky way. That's the difference. So when you start saying, I got my own style, then I'm gonna say, what's the name of your style? It's called Poppy. Then it's not yours. Someone else <laughs> created that. You can't call something, that means you stole it. Yeah. You say, it's, I, I have my own style. What is it called? Animation. No, that name is already done. You can't use that, you can't use the name, and you're doing the same thing. You gotta say, if you go make a new style, it's like someone going like this. I got a new style, what's the new style? It's called waving. This is me back 42 years ago when I started seeing different styles. Someone said, hey man, you see those guys doing that new style called Tutty? Man, what's Tutty? It's like this. Damn, that's kind of cool. What the hell? So I'm gonna learn that. Then someone came to me, hey, man, you see that new style called snaking? Snaking, you mean get on the ground? <laughs> no, no, no. This, this, this guy, he go like this. He make his chest go like this and he, went. I see the guy. Damn! Oh, oh, Taco. But Taco not the originator. Daryl, this guy named, created his name, Daryl Johnson. He was once a little kid that was in Electric Boogaloo's in the beginning. Sam was teaching him, then he, he got, he was 13 years old. He leave, the, uh, Sam kicked him off the group. Two years later, he's 15 years old. I start, some people start telling me there's a, a new style called snaking, it's not called Cobra. Cobra is his dance name. Okay. So when he started doing this, first time I seen Taco, I was like, is it my mom? Wow. Then I seen Daryl. Taco was on this level. Daryl was on this level. And that's the Daryl stopped doing, so you're never gonna see. So everybody only sees Taco, and, and Taco is the barometer of snaking now. But the creator, could no one be him. His body was, he used to stand like this and make his, look like his, this was just stay here, but this would lean and be out like this, but this seemed to be straight. And then he'll, he'd do this, and he used to go like this to people. He used to do his hair like this, why it's called snake, he used to do this. That's why he's called King Cobra, he started looking at you like this. And you, and you start looking at him like this. Because it's like, oh, 
So it's a lot of original movement that a lot of people can't do anymore because the original guys don't are not here to do it. So, but anyway, let's go. I'm just talking. We talk after. Now, 